Before all time greats, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird ever held a basketball. <laughs> the art of refereeing was created. But we've all seen questionable calls that have cost game. And this is two. Now that's going to help him. Series. Game! And championships. So, I decided to create my own AI powered basketball referee. To create an automatic basketball referee, I'm going to be detecting when someone travels. The traveling violation is one of the most common violations in the game of basketball. A player must only take two steps. Any more steps is a travel. That being said, there are two main things I need to track. Steps and dribbles. First, we'll be detecting when a ball is dribbled. I'll be doing this by writing a computer vision algorithm that detects the bouncing of the ball. I wrote some simple code that streams the camera's view. Then I created a color mask that singled out the color of my basketball. Okay, as you can see, it creates an HSV color mask where it detects this color, this orange color right here. And on the right screen, you can see all the pixels that are that color. It makes it white and anything that's not that color is black. Now only the ball is shown in the mask, but there are these speckles of garbage scattered around the view. So I sprinkled some post-processing code to remove it and perfect. I then drew a circle around the ball and now it sees everywhere it goes. Now that I know the exact radius and center point of the ball, detecting when it bounces is simple. I represented the ball in a parabolic function and used the vertex point derived from the radius and center point to find the minimum value of the ball, which indeed was a bounce point. Now we can track dribbling. Now, I thought detecting steps would be easy because I thought I would just use the step counter on my Apple Watch and feed that data to the program. But there's a problem. The step counter on the Apple Watch does not update real time, which is kind of a problem for a real time AI referee. So like any logical person, I created my own pedometer that strapped to my legs and updated real time. I created an Android app and converted raw accelerometer values for three axes into steps. Now we can detect steps. Okay, so the pedometer is strapped to my leg. And as you can see, we have a real-time counter from a database that the Android app is gonna continually update and it'll send that to the Python program. So as I walk, that will update. Two steps, three, four, five. Final step is to combine the two data sets and detect the traveling. Essentially, the program will create a step counter that needs to stay two or under and is constantly reset once the basketball is dribbled. If three or more steps are taken without the basketball being dribbled, a travel will be called. Travel detected. Travel detected. This automatic basketball referee can be improved in many ways. In the future, I might even add double dribble detection or even foul detection. Next video will be out soon. In the meanwhile, check this out. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.